don't have uh, plants and stuffed animals and burrito stories or anything like that. But I did realize I actually have more in common with the previous two speakers than I thought because I'm also um, uh, education background is physics and I'm a huge South Park fan. So I would have to find that episode. Um, so I wanted to talk a little bit about uh, myself and my journey today and then um, some of the um, things that um, my company has offered um, someone with my background, my educational background, you know, what I think could be useful for students if they want to be out in industry doing some of these roles. And then um, I also have a couple of um, slides uh, will be forward that talk about different uh, career pathways or um, options that my company offers. Um, it's primarily for college students, um, but still, um, and some options are for high school students, but really kind of get you thinking terms of, you know, the students ask to move into high school and then on to industry. Um, I will say that um, I am a volunteer, actually, I'm not sure how we connected, but I used to live in Hernan, Virginia, and I worked there, so maybe that's how that's we, probably, yeah. yeah, that's <laughs> probably how we connected, um, but um, yeah, I'm a volunteer, I was not sent by my company, so all the opinions here are um, mine. Um, I'm just here to talk about, you know, things that I have seen and career pathways, but I'm certainly not representing the company. Um, so, I'm the systems engineering manager um, at Cisco, so how many of you know what Cisco does? Okay, because I think a lot, of, uh, a lot of folks say, oh yeah, I've, I've heard of that company and they're all over in San Jose, I see the buildings, but I don't know what you guys do. They also say, um, I see really cool commercials, but I have no idea what you guys, uh, what your products are. So um, it's the largest IT company in the world. Um, we're an IT company. We do uh, routing, you know, building your internet, everything that is behind the cool experience we have as users. So everything that's behind that, that's not sexy, that stuff we don't want to look at, that's what we do. Um, and that's where we come in. So I have been at the company for um, 10 years now. Um, I graduated from college and went straight into my field and uh, have since held many different roles and responsibilities. So um, systems engineer, right? So I started as a, as a systems engineer and now lead a team of systems engineers. So what, what do they do, right? That's such a vague term. Um, so what um, my team does is we are actually engineers, but we're part of sales. So the company has many different organizations. There's marketing, there's um, IT within the IT company, um, there is development and business units and product management. So we're part of sales. We do consulting to customers. And my team specifically, we actually own all of the um, education customers in Northern California. Um, so that would be higher education, community colleges, um, this university, um, all the school districts, K-12, I and mean, all of that is under our patch, right? Um, we actually have um, school districts in Napa and Sonoma counties right now that are using a lot of our communication equipment because they had access to none of that um, starting Monday night. So that's another you know, great thing that the company does do. They provide a lot of communications for the customers during times of need. Um, so that's, that's the systems engineering team. However, there are many, many, many different roles, right, within the company that um, all of the students can uh, apply for, and I'll talk about some of those career paths. So I, I myself studied physics. I went to UC Berkeley, uh, graduated here locally, um, and uh, I started, uh, Cisco actually came to my um, career fair when I was a, um, when I started my senior year, so that's how I got recruited. I had no idea um, that I would ever go into technology. Um, I just knew I enjoyed physics a lot and I really wasn't thinking ahead. And when I became a senior, I thought, well, um, I'm kind of tired of being broke. I don't want to go straight to grad school. Let me see, let me just throw this out there, build this thing called a resume, throw it out there and see what sticks. And that's how I um, ended up at the company and I've been here ever since and, and just really enjoy it. Now, I certainly don't. Um, propose that you tell your students that. I think there could be better, a lot more planning involved. I actually never thought I would end up in technology. And um, one of the things that the recruiters were looking for when they came to my career fair was um, not just, so my degree was in physics. I was not a computer scientist. I was not an electrical engineer, which is typically what the company hires. But I think they started changing their 
the, the way they source students um, right when I was coming out of college. So they started looking for more and more students that were hungry to learn that they knew would, are um, quick, you know, quick learners that they can take in and train them and teach them everything they would need to know. So there's, um, you know, to your point, there was nothing that I learned in college through textbooks really that I use today in my job. However, I use all the critical thinking skills that I've learned, right? So that's what the recruiters started looking for. And that was just one part of it. That was really, 50, I would say 50% of the equation was, are these folks able to think in a technical manner and can we teach them you know, very technical um, um, products and how it works. But it was also about communication, and that was the other part of the equation, right? So how well are they communicating? Can they work in collaborative teams? Can they talk to customers in my case? So I actually double majored in history, and funny enough, even though I was applying for a technical role, the recruiters asked me a lot more about my background at study history than they did about physics which to me was very surprising, but when I started working, I realized why. And that's because um, from the minute I started at the company, we were uh, part of big teams, and we always worked in teams. There was not a project that I did that I you know, did alone. And uh, if any of you have been to our campus in San Jose, they're actually starting to even break down all the cubes and create very collaborative, um, office environments, you know, it's, it's all about collaboration. It's all about working in teams, it's all about communicating, it's all about coming up with ideas and brainstorming. And um, we have uh, programs that um, people can vote on if you come up with ideas in teams and then the company will provide some research dollars toward the better ideas and kind of see what comes out of that. So, so I think when recruiters are looking for skill sets to hire into the company, they're really looking for not just the technical skills, but, but those communication skills, very important. I um, have even met systems engineers within the company that have non-technical degrees that either displayed a lot of interest in technology and could communicate and learn, um, or you know had some sort of uh, uh, work background in technology prior to coming to the company. So we even have people in technical roles that don't necessarily have technical degrees. So um, why I do what I do, I really enjoy my job, I really enjoy um, my role in working with customers, so a lot of teachers, a lot of um, folks that set curriculum, um, you know, I see Fisco phones here, so I guess my team's doing their job, <laughs> I got that when I first walked in, um, but it's really a pleasure. Um, we have teams that work with many different customers, but for me personally, it's really a pleasure to work with, um, with the school district and the education. Um, education sector. So I'm going to talk about a lot of um, different programs that the company offers. Again, a lot of this is, um, you know, my opinion, but I mean, these programs exist out there. Um, so how many of you have heard of the Cisco Networking Academy or NATACAD? Okay, so it's a, um, it's actually our largest um, corporate social responsibility program. It started with our um, very first CEO, and we call it the world's largest classroom. So it's a virtual learning environment that teaches a lot of the skill sets, the IT skill sets. Um, students can then go on and take certifications, Cisco certifications, which are recognized throughout the IT industry. You know, they can go on their resume, or they can get, um, you know, familiarize themselves with the material even if they're not getting the certification. So this is something that they can talk about when they're um, entering into the workforce or looking for internship programs or, you know, summer, summer work, anything like that. Um, we are in a lot of different high schools as well as colleges. Some schools will um, create funding to provide the students with gear, so hands-on um, lab type environments. But even if you don't do that, a lot of the material is all available virtually online. Um, you can go to netacad.com if you have not heard about it, you know, provide um, the courses are in many different languages, provides hands-on, flexible delivery, so again, it's virtual, so they can, you know, they can get access to this however they want, simulations, so they can get some, um, get some uh, experience what it's like to really be working in our environment, basically. So if you haven't checked out this program, I highly, highly, highly encourage it. Um, 
especially in our case, we're so close to our headquarters, which is in San Jose, so there's a lot of effort being put into this um, by the company, so I highly encourage you to um, check that out. So it's netacad.com. You can see we're in about 170 countries, almost 7 million students there to date, um, 20,000 different instructors, um, you know, close to 10,000 different academies. So in terms of, so that's Medicaid, that's for the students as they're learning, right? So what happens afterwards? So there are many different IT companies that recognize this for certifications. In fact, I, I, I would like to say that all the IT companies would recognize it as long as it's relevant to that job. Um, but within Cisco, say you have a student that takes the networking academy, is very interested in what they're learning. They go on to college, um, they learn, uh, you know, they get into computer science or something technical, and they decide they want to come and work for a company such as Cisco. So um, this isn't just my company. Other companies, other IT companies have similar programs, but I can only talk about this because this is what I went through. So when I was um, a senior in college, and I mentioned that the recruiters were at my school, um, they, um, they onboarded me, and I finished my senior year, and then that summer I started a program called the Cisco Sales Associates Program. So this is designed for students coming directly out of college. And the nice thing is they hire you, I mean they start looking for these candidates you know, well, into, well before they finish college um, or usually within a year, year and a half of finishing college. So what's nice is that students can know that they already have a job even before they finish sometimes, which, you know, which I thought was really, really neat. Um, so this is a, um, this is deceiving because it says it's the sales associates program, but it's actually for technical sales jobs as well as engineering jobs such as like this, such as mine. So it's part of the sales organization, but it's a technical role. Um, so uh, there, there, you know, the format you can see here. There's a lot of um, virtual learning that goes on. Um, different curriculum is um, delivered in different ways. Um, there are centers set up, so San Jose has um, probably one of the largest, where we have the most uh, CSAP associates here um, in San Jose. They will all come to the office, learn together with each other, again, very collaborative. And then they have, and then after their third month, they move to on-the-job experience. So um, they're talking to customers, they're doing presentations, they're doing demonstrations. They're doing you know, many different things, taking everything they learn in the first three months and integrating that for the rest of the year. After that, they usually um, join the field. So for example, someone that has finished that for the first year will join my team if I were hiring someone, and then they start working with the rest of my team. So that's how that program works. It's one of the best and probably the largest um, IT onboarding programs for students coming directly from college. When I was going through it, what was really nice is, again, um, you know, I did not have programming or computer science type background, so they taught me everything I needed to know in this program before I actually started working. Um, they even teach us, um, and maybe this is because it's part of sales, but they have a lot of um, communication classes that they t um, have us take. Um, dining classes, dressing classes, <laughs> how to be professional classes, right? Because you're directly out of college. So there's no con concept of you know how to be a professional in industry. So I really, really have a you know, I very strong opinion. I think this is a great, great, great program for someone that's 21, 22 coming out into the in, in industry. Um, so that's that's immediately after you graduate college. So you might be asking, well, my students would want something sooner, right? They want to know internships and things like that. So we do have a um, sales internship, and I'm only talking about sales because that's my organization. We have many other programs outside of that. Um, if you guys are interested in that, I can try to find the right resources for you. I personally just don't know because my exposure is only to this organization. Um, but within this internship program, we target juniors. So we would probably start talking to them and uh, trying to hire them um, as they start their junior year. And then as soon as they finish during that summer is when they do the internship program. You know, there is an exit interview and we might even make them an offer, assuming they complete their senior year with, um, with our trades. So um, again, systems engineering, so my type of role, internship. Um, there's a software internship now. Um, this is a little bit different and a little bit new. 
because the, our company is pivoting from hardware to soft, more software-based. So that's, that's a fairly new um, role, but again, very exciting for programmers, especially. Um, and then there's the pure sales intern program. So again, um, it's a less technical role than an engineering role, but it's still technical because the industry is technical. And that's the summer internship program, and you know there are many different things they do. Uh, there are mentors they're hooked up with, there are um, evaluations that we provide them as they go through the program, feedback. They do real customer visits, so it's not simulations, but you know real life um, shadowing and things like that. Then there's the early in university internship program. So this one is for freshmen and sophomores. Um, it's a 12-week program again. Um, I believe it's over the summer. Um, there are various hub locations, so San Jose happens to be one of them since this is our headquarters. Um, so one week of training will be in San Jose, and other than that, they're in their local um, areas that they were hired from. Again, there's the systems engineering internship and sales internship. So you can see the requirements here are that they are actively pursuing um, degrees in all of these different um, areas, but however, it's not restricted you know, it's not strictly those areas. It could be anything that's related to that. And again, there, um, again, we're doing mentorship programs, learning and development for them, customer insights, you know, they're working with um, real teams. So we had some interns that were working with my team that were going out and doing research about our customers and presenting it back to my team, you know, things that we didn't even know about our customers. So they, they, they were doing an excellent job. Um, and that is the end of my presentation. So um, again, I highly encourage you guys to check out Medicaid if you're not familiar with that.